Hi folks, thanks for coming to watch one more video at iLookat Sharing Knowledge. For those that already follow the channel, knows that all things are done based on the unfamiliar or MacGyver style. I'm going to talk about the lichen at Dutch Gusto Cough Maker. Just by putting water on the water recipient, I had notes that it was seeping water from the bottom. There are two possibilities in your cough maker if you have this model. PJ1509B1. You can see the model on the bottom. I will show you with an image right here. You see it? It's down here. So, there are two places where the leaking can be coming from. The first one can be here in the capsa, uh, capsule area. And you can put a screwdriver here to move down the diffuser plate, which can be worn out, rusty, or something like that. So, this is one possibility where the leaking can be coming from. Uh, let me take the cover out just to show better it to you. Well, uh, this is the cover where you need to unscrew four Torx screws. Let me turn it. Hold on. Okay, I have already opened it. But let me turn to show you a little bit better how you are going to uh, open it. You have to unscrew these four uh, Torx screws, okay? So you are going to take this out and you need to uh, lose this, this part here. You need to bend a little bit and uh, put back, okay? Because it's a little hard to, to uh, lose them. The same way the other side, okay? You need to do both of them. If it's leaking from the top, the liquid can come using from behind the parts and end up leaking at the base. The second hypothesis of leaking is this little rubber known as rubber gasket or tanksil. The direction for placing the rubber is this side up and this one side down, the one with grub, okay? This part may have worn out and caused the leak. Therefore, you need to buy a new rubber gasket. So, how I have already checked the front part, let me turn it again. By the way, if you need, there is a really cool set of precision tool with 150 pieces. Just check the link to buy it at the video description. This set has a uh, different Torx bits to open the coffee maker. That is a different Torx bits with a hole in its middle. It's uh, see here, it's a uh, T10H. Okay, you see, it has a, a little hole in its middle. Uh, now I'm going to use a screwdriver bit. Uh, and check this out. Here, how it's cool. You can adjust the size of it. You see? It's a really cool set to have to disassemble your computer, appliances, cameras, smartphones, and the others. Well, going back here, now I'm going to show you on the front part where is placed the diffuser plate and how to release it. Here is the diffuser plate, and you are going to insert the screwdriver in this hole, in the middle. After moving down the locking handle, it needs to be down here. And you are going to insert the screwdriver right here, and tilt it to release the part. You see? Here it's released. As you can see, the part is perfect. No damage area, sometimes this part can oxidize, get rusty, or even more now the rubber around the, the edges here or in the drain hole. Attention! If your coffee maker is leaking from the front on the top where you place the capsule where it has this diffuser plate, see this is another video on the card where I show a MacGyver way to fix it. To put the diffuser plate back you just put it in this position and lift it after inserting its place. You see? There you go! The lock handle must be lifted up, so you get to insert it correctly, and now it's fastened. Well, going back here, as this part is okay, good thing the issue isn't in this piece. Anyway, if you need any pieces uh, showing this video, see the links at the video description. So, as I have checked, the diffuser plate is okay, and the leakage is coming on from the bottom, apparently. It may be the gasket that worn out. This rubber is also known as a retainer, water tank seal, etc. See at the video description where you can buy this uh, rubber, okay? 
as you can see here I have bought a new gasket to replace I will replace it and check if uh, it's going to work and fix the leak pay attention this flat area here let me show you let me open this this bag this plastic bag here okay this flat area here you see on the top goes to the side up and this one with the groove goes down okay so you put it here ah you see it's totally different check this out the old one is worn out and doesn't even has pressure to fit in the hole see the new one how how it gets tight ah now it's much better i i think it will uh, it will fix the liquid now i will put the water in the water tank and test it I was going to assemble first and test on the sink, but I will do it uh, right here. Better test before assembling. Okay, now I'm gonna put it here. Hold on. Just uh, without the cover. Put in the hole here. Okay, there we go. Ah, now it's fixed because it's not leaking any longer. Ah, woohoo! It seems to be okay. I don't need, it, uh, need to, to turn it on, but it's okay. You see, no more water uh, spreading here. You see, let's fix it. The issue was in the gasket. Okay, so that was the problem. You can buy here. Give it a thumbs up and the press thanks button if this video helped you to fix yours. Leave your tips so I later can buy a coffee. Okay, thank you. Subscribe on the channel.